Hi everyone, January 18, 2019. I'm going to be uh, going through the comments. Like I said in my earlier video, the video that I wanted to post but everything got screwed up, I feel it's important that I do this because I want to make sure that you're getting uh, the responses so that everybody's on the same page as best we can be. But I want to start with just three articles that were sent to me by subscribers whom I would like to thank for sending me these articles. This was posted January 2nd, 2019. What happened to the monarch butterflies? Um, is it Pismo or Pismo? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but there's a beach in California. The numbers have plunged 81%. Yeah, life is dying here on our planet. Uh, there, and the subscriber who emailed me this article, she said, because she lives nearby, and she said it was such, and I'm not using her words, but this was the essence, it was just an incredible experience to see these butterflies on this beach because there were so many and she has noticed the market decline 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 of the butterflies butterflies man you know there is such incredible beauty on this planet to see it being erased by evil and and to see evil winning is really well it kind of irritates me and that is an understatement Australia a uh, scorching heat wave you guys all-time temperature records in what has been four of its most sweltering days in history even bats are falling from trees in Adelaide. Um, is this so, you guys in Australia? You know, how often have we seen headlines? Record breaking heat, record breaking heat, record breaking heat. This year it's been the hottest. This year it's been the hottest. No, this year it has been the hottest. And then when you do the research, well, they're quite wrong about that. This is just the propaganda for the global warming alarmists. But no doubt, it's hot. Scary. Now, I posted on Kafka Winston World, Scotland, Scotland doing this, mandating these home visits. You get a government official to come to your home to just make sure that your child is in a safe environment. Are you kidding? Oregon, what the hell? You, look, there are some, and I don't mean to be offensive to all of you who are not batshit crazy, but in Oregon, California, and Washington, there's an awful lot of uh, what what's going on with this uh, the whole Pacific Coast has gone batshit crazy Oregon to become first state to mandate universal home visits for all families with newborn children and Kate Brown this governor man do you have to run her out of office and run her out of Oregon. Uh, she submitted her two-year budget proposal to the Oregon State Legisl Legislator, uh, Legislature, and it includes several health initiatives aimed at children's behavioral health under the oversight of the Oregon Health Authority and Oregon's Coordinated Care Organizations it's a uniquely Oregon approach to blending 
a wide array of health services under one umbrella. So the key pieces of this legislation, the beginning investment in a six-year program to create universal home visits for new parents. Oh my God. You want to talk government intrusion? You want to talk, uh, what is this? Is this socialism? Is this communism? Is this batshit crazy? God, I get so angry because when these things pass, every resident in every state needs to rise up and demand that it go away. And when you don't have people acting to counter this kind of, what is it? What is it? Um, it's the government taking over your parental authority. This is very scary. So, yeah, Oregonians, rise up and tell Kate Brown uh, to shove it. All right, so when the program is complete, every new parent, which includes adoptions, would receive a series of two or three visits by someone like a nurse or a healthcare practitioner. The visits could include basic health screenings for babies, hooking parents up with primary care physicians, linking them to other services, and coordinating the myriad childhood immunizations that babies need, that babies need. This is your government coming into your home, forcing upon you rules, regulations, vaccines, immunizations, and they are doing this because parents, you don't know what the hell you're doing, so you need these home visits from government officials to tell you how to parent what you need to do. They're targeting all children, not just troubled families. This is stuff all kids need. No, what kids need are healthy parents who know how to parent. They don't need government officials coming in telling the parent what to do. And trust me, in time, this is just going to be the way it will be all over the country. Okay, now, uh, Friday night, maybe some of you thought I was out having a good time. No, I was trying to highlight. Um, and the highlighting went fine underneath videos and then it poof disappeared or the page changed to another page and I lost all the high highlighting. All right, so I have to go to my comment page um, and do it, but I will link below to Just Talking. Support for what is coming is critical. Start by leaving a comment and the video that I posted earlier today um, where people were also leaving comments about where they live. There's a lot of you that want um, to hook up with people. In fact, the Just Talking video got 542 comments. I don't think, well, I can say for sure, not all of the comments underneath videos show up on my comment page, which has comments for every video. Um, so, please go back to the video. Do not count on getting notifications. Don't count on it. I'm going to show you my um, Never Lose Truth email on Gmail. 
You see this? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. I, I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. But what I used to get was at least one comment from every video I posted. And that's how I got to my comment page. So I would go to Gmail and I would look for what is this new comment. That was January 8, 10 days ago. 10 days ago. I have not received another new comment notification in 10 days. I received a few replies and then I received an awful lot of Twitter, 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 Twitter. I mean, I don't do Twitter. All right. Now, that's a problem because there are a lot of people who want to meet other people. And if they're not getting notifications, they may not check under the video thinking nobody responded. Don't think like that. Go back to the video and check it out. Now, I'm just going to, you know, and it's heartbreaking to read how many are really, how many of you are really suffering with an awful lot of symptoms due to the frequencies, due to the aerosol spraying of toxic chemicals and heavy metals. Um, and I might read some of them, but I, there's a lot of comments and I, it, it would go on forever. But sea cleaner. All right. So I am having a lot of problems with my computer and I don't really believe that it's my computer, but I can't say that definitively. Um, there are times when my computer is so friggin' slow that, you know, it's like a, you know, the, what is it? The, um, face palm, you know, slap in the forehead. That's how I feel. I'm like, oh my God, there are times when I have to wait like a minute for a page to turn. But when you're going to a lot of pages, it's like, okay, it's maddening. I think that our providers are slowing down our computers, you know, to get everybody hey, on board with 5G, though, that it's going to be incredibly fast. And I don't think it's going to be much faster than what we have. Um, but all of these problems, man, it's like, wow. Now, I use Sea Cleaner, and I clean it often. And I have malware that I purchased. Um, I don't have any viruses. I use the sea cleaner. I am, I try very hard to get off, you know, a lot of the videos so that it's not eating up um, memory and it just doesn't make any sense to me because the problems arise out of nowhere and then, not with the editing programs that I was mentioning in that video, but then suddenly from, let's say, the computer really slow, then it speeds up. Or I'll have a problem with a particular program, and then I don't. So it's like weird. Um, okay. Mission BC Canada, Texas, Travis County. Central West Virginia. Anza. Eguanga. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be pronouncing things really uh, weird. And I wish I could say that's a frequency thing. I, I don't know why, but I've always had difficulty pronouncing some names it's like the letters just i can't really get it in my brain to hear it all right um 
Louisville, Kentucky, Lake Norman, North Carolina, Central Texas, uh, Cleveland area, Fort Worth area, Texas. There's several Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, Gainesville, Florida, um, Moore County, North Carolina. Oh, and I did get emails from several people, a lot of comments about Richie from Boston. We're in touch, so that's fine. And thank you all for alerting me to Richie from Boston's video. Um, Kelly, I believe I received an email from you. Um, sometimes I get emails from people and it's not under the username, but I honestly can't remember if you actually um, made your username clear. But some of the emails that I received today, I will be getting back to you. I please understand, I'm not really okay. Um, it's very hard for me to write now, uh, much easier for me to talk. And um, well, some of the emails really do require me to think about things so uh, if you can be patient with me I'd really appreciate it okay so um, Myrtle Beach South Carolina Colorado native Douglas Henderson, Florida, Jacksonville. Oh, and I highlighted this because I did not, and I couldn't think of the name, but there are people who are getting some relief from Shungite, 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 and here is a link to um, some of the healing properties. It's for the electromagnetic frequencies. Okay, Pitt County, North Carolina, Bay Area, Coast, North Carol, uh, California, New Hampshire. Oh, here. Um, there are a lot of people who I guess don't know what is going on with YouTube. And I know that a lot of you your bells notification bell is not working you're not getting notifications um so the notification thing it it doesn't work and i don't get any notifications so you don't have to tell me to go to the notification bell and all that kind of stuff there's so much that just doesn't work like it used to uh northeast pennsylvania Northern L.A., Ventura County, um, Mike Morales, super drain, feel drugged, last seven days, worse by the minute, uh, a migraine's wife feels the same, and we live off grid. Sorry to hear that, Mike. But yeah, that drugged feeling. Well, I posted a video. It is documented with these frequencies. They can actually make you feel drugged. Um, Owasso, Oklahoma, New Hampshire. Yeah, YouTube is very different now. I'm in Scotland. Wheatland, California. Uh, Wenatchee, Washington. 
Hey, I missed your video looking for like-minded people. I missed it too. That's happening more and more. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, um, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. There's apparently a a 5G free Philly on Meetup. The meetups, um, people start meetups, and I think that website, it requires paying for uh, setting up a meetup on that website. But I don't know if you can just go to it to see what the meetups are without having to pay. But there are people who are putting on that website for these meetups, you know, wanting to meet up with people who are quote unquote awake. So you might want to check out this 5G Philly meetup, Central Texas, Bay Area, North, Northern California, uh, the Peninsula Northwest, uh, coastal area, California. Is it California or Oregon or Washington? <laughs> Sorry, I can't remember. North in the UK. So when you say UK, should I assume that you're talking about England, not Scotland? Um, Macomb County, Michigan. Rio Rancho, New Mexico, Finger Lakes, Rochester, New York, Dallas-Fort Worth area, New Mexico, Las Cruces, Reno, Nevada, Philadelphia, Grand Strand, South Carolina on the coast, Vail, Arizona, didn't know there was a Vail, Arizona. Um, yeah, I just heard on the radio this morning about Oregon trying to pass a bill to make it mandatory to have these home visits. Um, Mid Michigan, Southwest Michigan, Palestine, Texas, Bozeman, Montana. See a lot of Bo uh, see a lot of Montanas, but you're all in different areas of Montana. Germany. This is a great guy. Please circulate this video and these videos, well, this one uh, in particular, just talking. Try to um, circulate it around, even, you know, to other countries because Slovak, this guy, you know, has really been a very loyal subscriber and has donated regularly and we've corresponded and he is feeling very similar to what a lot of us feel you know he takes action he's out there he's trying to wake people up um goes to rallies and gets very little response. You get very depleted when you do this over and over and over again. So yeah, Slovig, Heckman, always nice to see a comment from you. Helena, Montana, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma. Um, and you know, in reading these comments, ma'am, oh, yes, um, Fearless Porgy. For the past five weeks, I've been suffering some bad gout in multiple joints in my body. This has been the worst episode I've ever endured. But I have to wonder now if the frequencies are playing a part as well. Yeah. I have no Wi-Fi, no microwave, no TV. 
Um, but if you're living in an area that has a heavy concentration of cell towers, Gwen towers, antennas, if you happen to be living next to people, you know, that have smart meters and Wi-Fi, if you have a smart meter but you don't have Wi-Fi and microwave, I'm telling you these frequencies are incredibly dangerous. The first time that I ever had heart palpitations, I was in Kentucky staying with a subscriber and her smart meter was outside the kitchen wall that was uh, inside right at the kitchen sink. I was cleaning I was cleaning ditch, d dishes in the sink and suddenly I had these very strong heart palpitations. I have nothing wrong with my heart. I knew exactly where it was coming from. It was the smart meter. Um, Johnstown, or Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Mishawaka, Indiana. Indy here. So, you have a response. Central Texas. Washington would love to meet with level-headed, honest, positive people to talk about ongoing events. You know, I do want to say that, you know, I'd love, and I've said this for seven years, I would never disable comments because this is where you get to express what you're feeling, what you're thinking, share information that you have, and where you can connect with other people. So the comment section, you know, I don't feel like it's mine, it's, it's yours. Um, and I've said periodically that it needs to be a safe place, you know. I see people attacking you know, people and calling them names and um, I don't do the positive negative thing. It, it's just, you know, you got reality and so if you are looking for positive people, then be honest like, you know, this person has been. Just be honest. But you also have to define what is it that you mean by positive people? Do you mean that they can't talk about reality? And I'm not saying anything about, you know, this subscriber. I'm just, you know, I see the positive and I'm like, okay, what does it mean? Um, because, you know, I've been called negative. I'm not negative. I I have, have always been a realist. I'm not a pessimist. I'm not uh, an optimist. I'm not a positive. I'm not a negative. You know, I'm simply, I deal with reality. And so there's an awful lot of New Agers who only look at the positive. They're the most negative people I know. Why? Because when you are ignoring everything that you feel is not positive, then you're an imbalanced, imbalanced uh, disintegrated human being. You can't be um, real and you are, you know, someone who clearly would be judgmental with that kind of kind of dichotomous thinking where you're splitting off everything that you deem negative and only taking in what you deem positive. But clearly you're not going to be engaging in uh, fighting any of these agendas because looking into these agendas, well, it's not really positive information. Um, so yeah, the positive people I have found to be incredibly negative because they can't, they won't engage, you know, and they too 
are the willfully ignorant. I'm not saying that about this subscriber, but when you write something about positive people, then I'm going to suggest that everybody be as honest as they can as they go forward in communicating with people. You know, I've met people and it was, some people, it was like a nightmare because I never really knew exactly who they were, what they were about, um, because they didn't know. But they would say, hey, yeah, let's take action. And then when you want to, you know, get together with them and take action, then you, you're suddenly hit with this hostile, you know, response because they deem you as burdening them. Um, it, it's, people are really quite a mess in terms of knowing who they are, what they're about, and what they want. So this is not about, hey, let's get together and be best of friends. This is about supporting one another in a very, very dark, dark time that we are living. And there is an awful lot of people who so want to meet like-minded people but understand, so many don't feel well. They don't feel well. Many are, uh, are experiencing symptoms that never let up. And the support that they need may not necessarily be for the symptoms that they have, but they just need to be around like-minded people, to talk to them, to be around that kind of energy, which could help their physical um, the issues that they have physically. Uh, but there's got to also be this um, understanding that an awful lot of people have been really hurting physically and mentally and emotionally. A lot of people have been, you know, living uh, isolated for long periods of time. I've, I see more and more comments from people who are saying, I'm not myself anymore. So while they would love to meet like-minded people, I'm sure a lot of people have like apprehension, um, feeling a little bit uncomfortable, you know, in the world. They're not their self. Um, so I would just hope that <clears throat> there would be that kind of understanding and compassion. And no, not everybody has to agree with everything. You know, um, if you don't believe in the flat earth, and you happen to believe in the flat earth, that should not be something that should divide you. You can just put that aside. Um, you know, I was thinking today, and here in South Carolina, now what I really wanted to do was try to uh, put together meetings, kind of like AA, you know, where awake people could go, you know, uh, once a week or twice a week at a regular time, and it would be an hour or maybe if the group grew an hour and a half, where people could share how they felt in a safe, you know, environment, not snowflake safe, but they could just share how they were feeling. And then others could share, you know, have that kind of support. Didn't work out, but um, so there are different things that people can do. Erie, Pennsylvania, Sandown, New Hampshire, Pitt County, North Carolina, Augusta, Georgia, Lee Summit, Missouri, Southern New Hampshire, Rochester, New York. I believe that's two of you. 
from Rochester, East Bay Area, Contra Costa County, California. I'm on the coast near the Bay Area, uh, Frederick County, Maryland, Olympia, Washington, Lincoln, Nebraska, Merrimack County, New Hampshire, Fitzwilliam, New Hampshire. Oh, hey, cool to know there's someone in New Hampshire. Would love to keep in touch with you. I just want to make sure that uh, Pamela knows that this, that Kay has responded. Chicago here, Portland, Oregon, uh, Northeast Portland, Eugene, basically a native Oregonian. My God, you must have, you must have, have you noticed changes in Oregon? Uh, Eugene, yeah. There are so many subscribers who, boy, you guys, you have no clue what you have done. I mean, no joke, I've been hanging on every single day for years. And when I've read your comments, you have given me the strength to just, okay, you're going to get through another day. Um, and, you know, look, there are positives that I can pull out of anything. Well, you're hanging on every single day. It kind of puts you in uh, the moment and taking each day as it comes. All right, well, that's, that's a good thing. Um, but, yeah... You know, I, I don't want to single subscribers out because there are a lot of you and I feel, you know, sometimes when I mention, you know, a subscriber's name, then I don't mention somebody else's name. I don't want anybody to be hurt. Um, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm ignoring anybody. That's not what's happening. But, um, yeah, so many of you have really... you mean a lot to me and you won't ever know how much eugene oregon no more geese flying over wow <sighs> chicago long island this was heartbreaking my daughter was just born and I fear for her future and the future of all Americans. The amount of spraying going on near West Hampton military air base is unbelievable. Literally the sun light has been stolen from us. We got a couple of hours of sun and they closed it up late afternoon today and we're getting rain tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'm a New Yorker. I lived Port Washington for a couple of years. My sister lived in West Hampton. My mother lived in West Hampton. Um, Long Island, yeah. There's a lot of uh, people active in the um, chemtrail community on Long Island. But I can't imagine what parents feel, you know, with their kids, parents who are awake, like like she is and or I'm sorry I don't know if you're the mother or the father so I don't want to make any assumptions but it must be heartbreaking Payson Arizona uh, Luzerne County northeastern Pennsylvania originally from Long Island New York very interesting comment here uh, where I worked back in 2000 and 2003 for Brookhaven National Labs, a Navy contractor where there is a mini harp and a particle beam accelerator, all networked to CERN. I've worked on the RHIC at Project Aerosol with physicists, geoengineers. This was my awakening. When I woke up to what I was involved in, I subsequently left that very high-paying position. 
which ended my career, marriage, and relationships with my sons. I've worked some jobs here and there to make ends meet since then, but I was blacklisted for a number of years after leaving Brookhaven uh, National Labs. That's what it takes, guys. When you wake up and you realize that you're engaged, you, you're getting your paycheck from what is essentially evil. When you realize that you are a cog in the wheel keeping this evil system turning, you got to get to the point where you can no longer engage Now, I understand the difficulties. I understand <laughs> the price you pay. But there's a bigger price you pay for keeping yourself getting a paycheck that, you know, your livelihood is based in evil, in destruction, in hurting people. And so many people say, you know, the order followers are police and military. No. Most Americans are order followers of their bosses, of corporations, of um, teachers, um, nurses, doctors. You know, they're order followers of the buck, their paycheck. And the only way that we could ever get out of this nightmare is if people come to that awakening like David and they can't go they can't they can't continue that is the pulling yourself from the system ex army airborne infantry i've had a massive head and spinal trauma Lately, I can hear the buzzing of the frequencies. I can't get my thoughts together anymore. I get very agitated. My dog will not leave the living room. Moorhead City, North Carolina. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Toronto, Ontario. A lot of you guys in Ontario. Uh, 30 miles outside of St. Louis and would love to meet with others that speak the truth. Here you got a St. Louis area, St. Charles County, Fort Greene, downtown Brooklyn, New York. A hey, New Yorker. Um, I'm a New Yorker. That's Venor, Tennessee. Southeast UK, downtown Los Angeles, Northeast UK. Now, was that the same? No. Oh, Southeast. Um, but here, maybe you can meet in the middle, Peter and Peter and Alan. Um, South Asia. All right art lover South Ayrshire okay probably pronounced that wrong Scotland oh you Scots I have many of you as subscribers but are you like we are just so far away from one another can't you hook up meet you know have a regular meeting. If you're too far away, make it a monthly meeting. At least that way you have something to look forward to. Columbia, Missouri. Hi from St. Louis area. Richmond, Virginia. Abbeville. Would really like to meet you sometime. Real, real folks are few and far between. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be posting a video explaining what is going on with me. Um, so that there's more understanding and I said I was going to be posting a video oh about a year ago and I never 
did, yeah, I'm not myself, but I have a lot going on. I don't want anybody to think I'm ignoring them. I uh, don't want to meet them or, you know, I am someone who's, you know, telling people to get support and da da da. I'm not telling anybody. I think it's, you know, a, it's a suggestion, but you know, I don't want anybody to think that I post and tell you guys to do things that I don't. There's a difference between don't and can't. And, well, there's an awful lot I used to be able to do, and I'm not there anymore. Trying to get back there, but it hasn't happened yet. Uh, Yolo County, California. Lorraine County, Ohio. Yeah. You know, there are also some of you that just leave these comments and I love reading. A lot of you that I love reading your comments. The reason why I highlighted, well, yet all we hear are Cuban embassy crickets. Love it. Uh, but if there, I don't know what you're writing with, if it's a computer, if it's a, a you know, an iPhone or a smartphone, but um, can you break up what you're writing into paragraphs? Because I can't, it's very difficult for me to read this, very difficult. And because I sit away from the screen, it suddenly just becomes a mash of letters. And it's just very hard to follow each line when the when it's just, you know, a long paragraph. And I'm saying that because I want to read them. Um, so Montreal, Quebec are Montreal QC, is that Quebec? Jesus. I'm losing it. Um, yes, Morris, I did, and I hope that you received my response. Okay. Los Angeles, California, Ventura County, northeast of England, County Durham, Newcastle, hello, me too, Newcastle, um, Manchester, New Hampshire, Goffstown here, Fitzwilliam, New Hampshire, and you got a hi, Pam, so, uh, um, you can, if you post a video, you can get comments underneath a video on your channel. I said this earlier, you can download free YouTube downloader and if you don't want to make a video yourself you can download this video when you're wanting to connect with other people and then you can have uh, your comments which will be essentially private well not private but you're not going to have people going, you know, there. So, Stowe, Vermont, Omaha, Nebraska, Rhode Island, Orlando, Florida, Eugene, Oregon, Eugene, Oregon, um, Barbara, Eugene, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Calgary, Alberta, Lethbridge, we're practically neighbors. It, I like seeing this. I like seeing this. It's just, you know, um, yeah, I'd love for all of you guys to hook up with other people and get the support that you need. Hawaii, Oahu, Oha, oh, Hawaii. Um, Pleasant Hill, California, near Pleasant Hill, California, Contra Costa County. I'm on the coast, how are you doing? Cleveland, 
Los Angeles, Phoenix, Arizona, Scottsdale, hey, I'm in Scottsdale, is that close to Phoenix? Uh, Los Angeles, Danville, North Cal, Danville, Northern California, MV, California, Huntington Beach, California, Orange County, anyone? Rapid City, South Dakota, the net will crash and isolate everyone. I can see that happening very soon. So can I. So have contacts and connections. Um, the net crashes, Wi-Fi crashes. Too bad, most have given up their landlines. BC powders and Alka-Seltzer. The reason why I highlighted this is because I know Alka-Seltzer has aspartame in it. Don't know about BC powders, but Alka-Seltzer, uh, you might want to think of something else. But yeah, can't, cannot hear anything, headaches every day, never quits, so loud I can't concentrate on anything, the noise and People said so many are experiencing this. As I'm speaking, yeah, the buzzing is going on, going on, going on, and it's, I can't distract myself from it. Albuquerque, New Mexico, Queensland, Australia, Patterson, California. Oh, and one ear, my right ear just closed up just a second ago. So now I'm hearing the buzzing really loud in my left ear. Um, Brownsville, Texas, Southern California. I have literally lost all my joy. Okay, so have I. I don't have access to what gave me joy. Um, I, I highlighted this because it's very important because people need to feel they can speak honestly without the fear of judgment. There's an awful lot of people who, due to how they feel physically, emotionally, mentally, due to their homes being flooded out or their home being brought to dust or they going homeless, they losing home due to bank fraud, they losing a job, now having to work five jobs, four, three. There's a lot of people who no longer have the resources for joy. So when I've had people say to me, you know, it's okay to have some joy. That is so demeaning. It's like um, everyone is having a different experience so when people say things like that it's first of all to shut you up they don't want to hear it and they want they think you're like them when you're not and people need to be heard so we've got to work on those filters in our own head and hear the individual's experience without, without annihilating them and bringing on our own experience. So, Georgia, you're not, you're not the only one. There's a lot of people. We're living a friggin' nightmare, guys. Hello, <laughs> this is not, you know, there's a lot of people who have yet to suffer the consequences. Well, guess what? There are a lot of people who have. The, the joy that people had, they can't find anymore in nature. I've had a lot of comments from people who have said, you know, nature was where I went to find joy, where I went to find peace. And now... I can't ignore, you know, when I go for walks in the woods, I can't ignore the death, the quiet that I hear. Where are the birds? What's going on? 
that's not a very joyful experience. Spartanburg, South Carolina, Northwest Indiana, north side of Chicago, Northwest Indiana. So uh, the Northwest Indiana folks, north side of Chicago, um, there seem to be a number of you, Fort Wayne, Central Indiana, Woodbury County, Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. How far is Woodbury County from Benton County? Uh, Lathrop, California, Megalia, California, Houston, Texas, um, Hatchet, Hatchubi, Hatchubi, Alabama, ha ha. Uh, Frankfurt, Paris, Kentucky, West Kentucky, Katy, Texas, Dallas, for Fort Worth, and here is a new resident to Dallas, Fort Worth, and Mindy has responded saying, "Can you email me the pictures you took?" So. Don't miss that response. Um, Richland County, Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin here. Hey. Hi. Okay. Hi is the last response. 2000, there were so many hummingbirds. Not so much anymore. Um, Hammock, California, Riverside County. San Jacinto, I don't know, uh, San Diego, California, Montana, Ontario, Canada. Is that bad? Well, it's not bad if you don't mind getting blasted with extremely low frequencies all the time. Um, Southwestern Ontario responded. Streamwood, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago. Hey, right outside of Wheaton here. Lincoln Park here. You're a long way from me, but would love to talk. That's a thread. Santa Barbara County, California. I can't believe you can't find people awake in Santa Barbara County, California. You have so many out there in California that are awake, but yeah, there isn't anybody really awake here where I live, and they, if they're awake, they don't care. Oh, well, yeah. Arizona, is it um, Pinal or Penal County? Here is Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Uh, don't I... Um, <laughs> clearly, I'm not afraid to sound like an idiot. Um, Phoenix, Arizona, Maricopa County, Peoria, Arizona here. Phoenix, Glendale border. Phoenix near Metro Center, Payson area. There are two Payson folks. Uh, yes, I know. Did I say I got in touch with Richie? Okay. Orange County, California. Um, San... All right, this is a brain thing. This is not just me. Wow. Farmington, Missouri. Scary. Um, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Charles County, Missouri. Harrison County, Ohio. Southwest Minnesota. Outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, Fort Mill, Indian Land, Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, uh, is it um, Skokill County, Blair County here, Stanton, Philadelphia County, Lehigh, is it Northampton? Did you leave out the R? Maybe not, but Carbon and Monroe counties here, Greenback. Um, Blount County, Tennessee, Venor, Tennessee, 
Baton, Texas, and Bob is from Travis County, um, Bastrop, Youngstown, Ohio, Colorado, also from Colorado, Denver, LaSalle County, Livingston County, Illinois, 90 to 140 miles southwest of Chicago. Tacoma, Washington, Pierce County, there is a Port Angeles uh, subscriber. I guess that's nearby Tacoma, maybe. Gig Harbor, Portland, Oregon, Central North Carolina, weighed into the thread. Um, a lot of people are sick for a long, long time. Marambu, is that how you pronounce it? Southwest France. Spokane, Washington. Spokane, Port Angeles here. King County, Seattle, Washington. Port Angeles here. Port Angeles, Washington. Spokane, Washington. 16 miles south of Bellingham. Central Indiana. I just want to make sure. Okay, Walnut Creek, California, uh, in the south, uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Savannah, Georgia. I'm right on Skid Skidway Island. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, look, you know, people who write Gwen Towers uh, for your information are placed on the average about 200 miles apart from each other. There were only 58 of those towers built. They intend to build 200 towers. Most of the 58 towers, if not all, are shut down or repurposed. Wrong! Well, they were repurposed for weather modification. But when you're giving me rational wiki... And a lot of articles talk about the Gwen Towers. The Gwen Tower system, the, the ground wave emergency network, was decommissioned in, I think, the late 70s. Did they get rid of Gwen Towers? No. And anybody who has traveled the interstates, especially, will see how littered our interstates are with Gwen Towers. So... Uh, and I've posted videos showing all of the Gwen Towers. That was on Kafka Winston World. Um, so I'm not going to get into, you know, and show me your sources. Uh, look, a lot of people have talked about the Gwen Towers littering interstates. I've got a Gwen Tower just a few miles away from me. What is it doing sitting there? If it's the ground wave emergency network that has been decommissioned, why is it sitting in Anderson, in Anderson, South Carolina? Um, they're all over. And unfortunately, there is no site that you can go and see the, where all of the Gwen Towers are. These Gwen Towers are extremely dangerous. They're not going to give you a antenna uh, search.com site where you can see all of the Gwen Towers. Um, but what you need to do is just drive around your area and you need to look for what looks like... Ah, slow, slow, yes, slow. You need to look for, which I'm going to show you again, um, and I have no doubt, especially those of you who live in areas that um, are populated. This is the Gwen Tower, okay? They're all over. Um, So, and I hate seeing so many of my subscribers really struggling. 
Reno. Um, that might be it. Again, I did not. I do not have all of the comments underneath the individual videos on my comment page. That's also a problem. Another problem is, well, I approve from spam and then you end up back in spam. Oh, no, YouTube is not what it used to be. Um, that might be all. All right, so. I really hope that you guys can find support, talk to one another, because it really, doing this alone, man, woof, it hurts. Not having anybody to talk to in real life. Yeah, I talk to subscribers on the phone, thank God. Otherwise, I'd be really going out of my mind, but The real life thing, you know, sitting around, you know, having coffee with one another. That makes everything a whole lot easier. So, again, I'm going to end with this. Even if you are okay, you don't need the support. You might want to leave where you live for those who might need your support maybe you can give you know a little bit of time but at some point you may very well need the support so now is the time to connect with other people in your area and you can honestly say, look, I, I can't do this right now, but I really do want to just touch base. Let's exchange telephone numbers and names so that we have it. And when you need the support, then you can go to those names and the telephone numbers. All right, guys, I'll link below to all of the articles. Yeah, don't forget this. Don't forget this. Australia heat wave. Don't forget this. You know, people call me a doom and gloom channel. I don't care. You know, I can't pretend that things are better than they are. I'm not going to. I am not going to. I won't. And hell, you know, I've said that I will not stop until the fat lady sings. And there have been times I've heard her kind of warming up. But I'm not going to stop. And I am going to document what is happening on our planet. Because I want people to get that big picture. This is not about, you know, wanting to bring you down. This is the reality of what we are living And when you know that life is being killed off, well, that's kind of the time when, hmm, maybe I should think of kind of making connections with people who are like-minded. Maybe, maybe I could find people who are actively involved and maybe we could do something um, in terms of taking action in our area but the main purpose of my posting these videos is for you guys to get support. Without that, you begin to just die inside. You know, your, your energy gets depleted. Your, we're relational beings. We need one another. Um, so anyway, I hope you all have a good weekend. I hope you all can connect and and uh, and find some support. 
Alright guys. Ciao.